For this video, I'll show you how to implement your stack data structure in JavaScript with some nice methods so you can start using it to solve algorithm problems you may face as a developer. Let's get it started. You can easily use JavaScript arrays to do stack-like stuff, but that will be cheating as arrays goes beyond the definition of what makes a stack a stack. Stack main operations are pop and push. We will also add peak, clear, print, and an option to set max size. What makes a stack a stack is the principal implements, its operations and values, and that's why it is an abstract data type. This means that as long as I implement these operations, values and principal, it does not matter what I use under the hood. To illustrate the logic inside of a stack, I'm going to use a JavaScript map. And before the video ends, I'll show you the common implementation that uses arrays under the hood, which are objects in JavaScript. To kick start this, I declare my class here with two private properties, the list to store the items and max size for size constraining. Inside the constructor, I'll take the optional max size and set it. I'll first convert it into a number and if that ends up not being a number or is just zero, I'll set the max size to be null. You'll see why in a bit. So stack implements LIFO principle, last in first out, with two main methods, pop and push. Let's create this empty methods for now and also add some nice to have ones. I'll also set a getter for the size that just returns the map size here. Now the push takes a new item and returns the new size of the stack. To add new item, I use the current size as the key for the map and set the new item as value and return the size after. I also need to handle max size here, so I'll wrap things here in a condition checking if there is a max size and the size is less than the max size. Now the pop takes no argument and returns the removed item. First I need to check if the stack is not empty. I'll create a constant to grab the last item and use size minus one to access it in the list. Proceed to delete the item now with the delete method and return the last item then. Outside I'll just return null. For peak I just return the last item. Again I use size minus ones to access, otherwise I return null. In clear I'll simply reassign like I did in, a, in the beginning and return the size. The print will simply console log the values of the list as an array using an array from method. Just like that, the stack is fully implemented, so let's try it out. I'll first instantiate it and proceed to put some items in print. There we go. I'll pop some and peek. then clear and print the stack and its size. Now that you see the logic under the hood of a stack, let's quickly change it to use arrays instead. I'll initialize the list to be an empty array instead. Return the list length and size gather. Arrays have push and pop methods, so I'll just return their calls results. No need to check the list size in the pop. Peak stays the same and clear imitates the new initialization. And finally, print no longer need array from method. And voila. If we check results, everything should remain the same. There you go. Please subscribe to this channel for concrete projects using various types of data structure for more examples. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.